and welcome to Fours Delicious, the show where we test cars from fours of four. Today, we're going to address an age-old debate that has been raging now for half a century. What's better, blunt force trauma American muscle from the 1960s or the highly tuned V12 sophistication of European supercars? Well, today we're going to find out and we're going to travel to France to run the cars round the famous Le Mans circuit. But first, let's take a look at the contenders and the times that they posted with me driving them around Infineon Raceway in Sonoma. When this car was new, it cost more than all of the American cars in this contest combined. This is one of my all-time favorite cars. Look at how sexy that beast is. Ah, the venerable 911, a timeless classic. The Ford Fairlane Thunderbolt, the only car of the eight more rare than the Ferrari 250 GTO. This is the original supercar, and leave it to Lamborghini to be outlandish. This is also the only mid-engine car of the bunch. This is the Ferrari Daytona. It earned that nickname after sweeping the podium at the 24 Hours of Daytona race. Ah, the Hemi Superstock. The Beach Boys sung about this car, but frankly in this competition, I think the Hemi Challenger would have been a better choice. This one couldn't put its power down. The Boss 429 is a real pretty car, but it was coming towards the point where American cars were starting to get detuned a little bit, and this one is bringing up the rear. So now you've seen the contenders, but there's always a twist on this show. In today's twist, I'm not driving any of these cars, just like I didn't drive them last time at the Nürburgring. No, I'm going to be driving this. This one's straightforward. Fastest cars in the front, slowest cars in the back, one lap, nearly nine miles, round Le Mans. Okay, so I'm driving the Love Machine. It's a 1988 GMC Van Dura. It does make nearly 500 horsepower. This van is about as modified as a van can get. So let's see how the muscle cars and supercars of the 60s compete. Did you see that launch? Boy, it's amazing what good tires will do for a car. Look at that body roll. But that horsepower seems to be making up for it. Fairlane is chasing down that love machine.
highly modified van with racing tires and stiff suspension, but it's still a van. How's it going to handle the chicane? Not well. Daytona's opening up, it's going to make a move on the 911. Big power in that Ferrari V12, here it comes. And it looks like the Porsche's gone. No, the Daytona had to break early. And the lightweight 911 hangs on to its spot. Massively powerful Thunderbolt is right on the Ferrari's tail. NASCAR style drafted down the street. and an understeer. Oh no, the wall! Ouch! Scrape that beautiful girl on the side. The debate's been raging for 50 years, but all these cars just got spanked by the love machine. In all fairness, the cars in this race were 100% stock, including the old 1960s tires. So the love machine had racing suspension, racing tires, etc., etc. Still didn't handle for crap. Bottom line, less than 15 seconds separated the, the Ferrari from the Dart. These cars are actually pretty close. <laughs>